Good morning and welcome to Kid News, generously sponsored today by the Norbies of Gig Harbor, Washington, to wish a big happy 8th birthday to Stevie. Stevie, your family wants you to know that they're incredibly proud of your big heart, smart brain, and beautiful smile, and to never forget that you are deeply loved by your team. I'm Kevin. Today is Friday, April 21st, 2023, and we begin with four minutes of glory, followed by a spectacular fail and a whole lot of cheering. This morning, undaunted SpaceX engineers are trying to figure out exactly what went wrong during the maiden voyage of their crewless, super heavy starship so they can try, try again. The biggest rocket ever made and its capsule roared 24 miles into the air, further than expected, before it failed to separate, tumbled, and exploded into pieces. Or, as SpaceX cheekily called it, a rapid, unscheduled disassembly. Just clearing the tower was considered a huge success, and then it had another by staying intact past the period of maximum atmospheric stress. Hence, all the celebrating, despite it going down in flames. CEO Elon Musk tweeted a congratulations to his company, saying they'd learned a lot and will try again in a few months. In other space news, the Pentagon appears to be hot on the trail of some seriously stranger things. In testimony this week, before the Senate Armed Services Committee, Defense Department official Sean Kirkpatrick confirmed that the government has on its radar 650 cases of unidentified aircraft. However, he was quick to shut down rumors of little green men, stating clearly his team had found no credible evidence thus far of extraterrestrial activity. During the hearing, Kirkpatrick showed lawmakers two declassified videos. One, a previously unexplained sighting that was later determined to be an airplane. The other still remains a mystery. This is the second time in less than a year that Congress has held a hearing on UFOs as sightings and interest among the public continues to grow. A furry and thirsty thief has been caught in the act. Sharon Rusel of British Columbia had an unusual wake-up call last week when a bear broke into her car at 3 a.m. and guzzled 69 cans of soda. Video surveillance showed the sweet tooth Bruin chugging can after can, starting with the orange crush, then moving on to root beer and cola. Only three cans of pop were left untouched, all sugar free. Living in a remote area where bears are a common sight, Sharon normally doesn't leave food in her car. She thought that the soda intended for her food truck business would be safe because she had never heard of a bear with a soda habit. In addition to the monetary loss and some significant damage to her car windows, the car's white interior was, needless to say, a sticky and colorful mess. A new report from the American Lung Association may leave you holding your breath. The 2023 State of the Air report shows that pollution affects around one in four people living in the U.S. That adds up to more than 119 million people. Researchers measured particle pollution by county using data from 10,000 monitors operated by the Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA's air quality system. Results show residents of western cities are hit the hardest. Of the five areas getting the worst grade, four are in California and one in Arizona. The report also shows people of color make up nearly three quarters of the residents in counties with the worst air quality. Tiger Woods is known as the king of comebacks. Now he's facing new questions about his career after undergoing ankle surgery on Wednesday. Doctors performed a procedure to ease arthritis pain from one of the many broken bones he suffered in a 2021 car crash. The typical rehab time is between 8 and 12 weeks, but it remains to be seen when or if Tiger will rejoin the PGA circuit this year. The golf legend's very public and painful looking struggle to hoof it to all 18 holes of a tournament has already led him to limit his schedule to mostly major events. In addition to December's PNC championship two-person event where he can ride in a cart with his son. That's it for Kid News. Now, our Kid News quiz. How high into the air did Starship climb before exploding? 24 miles. How many cans of soda did a very thirsty bear chug down? 69. What does a new report from the American Lung Association cover? Air pollution in the U.S. One recent unexplained UFO sighting turned out to be what? 
an airplane. And in our Kid News Kicker, check your cowbell at the door. That is the funny but true message delivered by tweet to fans attending the NBA playoffs in San Francisco. Cowbells have been a popular accessory for the Sacramento Kings fans at home games since 2002, when the Los Angeles Lakers coach Phil Jackson referred to the state capital as Cowtown. Those who don't heed the warning will have to leave their cowbells at the bag check and get them back at the end of the game. Game four of the series will be played on Sunday afternoon. A big thank you again to the Norby family of Gig Harbor, Washington for underwriting today's episode. Happy birthday to Stevie and a shout out to Stevie's classmates in Mrs. Thomas's second grade at Lighthouse Christian School. And hello to Stevie's little sister, Nev, and her friends in Mrs. Quinsland's kindergarten class. And shout outs for our other terrific Kid News teachers, starting with Mrs. Day and her roadrunners at Baldy Mesa Elementary School in Phelan, California. Mrs. Rickauer and her Mustangs at South Elementary in Brighton, Colorado. Ms. Val and her Aggies at Poteet Junior High School in Poteet, Texas. Miss Cano and her Bobcats at Alamosa Elementary in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And Miss Justin and Rafi the Giraffe at Ulysses Bias Elementary School in Roosevelt, New York. Thanks for listening. Our Week in Review quiz is up on our website. And for those who've signed up, our weekly word search is in your emails. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you back here for more Kid News Monday morning.